everybody in here. Still in bed, snuggled up. It's warm in here. You step out the covers, it's cold. The fire went down a little bit early last night, so I went over and turned on the propane heater, and it'll it'll heat this place up, and then I'll get my day going. I gotta make some coffee. I think it's gonna be a sunny day today, but yesterday I had a couple people stop over. Uh, Andy uh, and Dawn from Andy, Andy's Tennessee Life and Homestead stopped by. Uh, Dawn gave me some cookies. And, uh, oh, another lead for Judy. So I can, I'll show you what I'm going to do with the two of them. Um, Lena from Red Road Homestead stopped over yesterday and dropped me off some cool things. I'm going to show you them too. And I need to open a Prezi that came via UPS, so I'm excited to see what that is. I don't know what it is. All I know, it's nothing that I ordered. So I'm just going to lay here a little bit longer until I get warmed up and then go make my coffee and get my day started. Yep, it's Prezi time. Let's start with the stuff that Don and Andy brought over yesterday. Cookies. And it's empty. There were ginger snaps, I think peanut butter cookies. They were delicious. And yeah, I ate them all. So thank you, Don had gone with Andy's mom to see his grandma. I guess it was a gra his grandma. And they baked a bunch of Christmas cookies and they thought of me and brought me cookies but they're all gone in under 24 hours I ate all of these cookies oh my goodness so thank you very much I love them very much oh they also gave me another dog lead and oh I put it over there um because they had it for one of their other dogs and um that dog passed away unfortunately so what I'm going to do is Judy is going to have one lead for right out the door. So for the first thing in the morning or late at night, if she needs to go out and go potty, I don't have to go all the way over to the side of the tiny house and hook her up. I'll just let the lead go out and she can do her business there. And then I've got the other lead for around the tree to give her room to roam and whatnot. So thank you very much for that too. I really needed it. And also Lena from Red Road Homestead came and visited me yesterday and it was so sweet because she had been to the dentist and her face was all swollen and she's got to have dental work and she was in pain. You could tell it hurt so much. So um, please go visit, uh, Judy's down here. I hope she doesn't knock this over. Um, uh, visit Lena from Red Road Homestead. I'll leave the links down below. Um, she has done an amazing job. Her and her grandson Guy um, and their family building up their homestead not far from here. So that's awesome. All right, Judy, you got to go. She's going to bark. <laughs> so I want to show you what she brought for me. Here, check this out. She was in her car, uh, her SUV, and I all I saw was the eggs. I'm like, oh, farm fresh eggs. But no, that's not what they are. These are wooden eggs, and there's four of them. See, four of them, one, two, three, four. And she gave me a little egg collecting basket too, so that is very cool. So these you put down into the nesting box where you want your chickens to lay eggs. So I'm going to try that and see if they might just get into that little uh, wooden nesting box in there and start laying their eggs if they're ready to lay eggs. I've been leaving them in the van for longer. So that's awesome. And I've got something to collect eggs in for when the eggs do start coming. And she also brought me one of these. Now this is exactly like the one that Francie gave me from Finding Joy and that I broke. And I was so impressed with it that I bought what I thought was another one. But this is the better model. And I'll show you the model that I got here in a second. But this light, you can't see it because it's light in here, is so gosh darn bright. It works on batteries and I've got plenty, plenty of batteries to put in there, um, rechargeable batteries. And the light that it gives off is just tremendous and it lasts a long, long, long time. So she gave me one of these and I absolutely love it. I am going to be using this more than I will the one that I purchased. So let me show you the one that I purchased. 
Oh, it's over there charging in the window. It's the one that I ordered off my Amazon. Well, it wasn't on my wish list. I just ordered it. It's this one. It has a solar panel on the top. You can press that, and it's a little flashlight underneath. Um, it expands and contracts just like it. It says that you can charge your phone. But here's the thing. Um, the light that it uses is not very bright. Here, let me go grab it, and I'll show you the difference. Okay, this is the one that I ordered, and it's not charged right now, and it doesn't last very long on a charge. This is the kind of light that it has. It's not very bright, even fully charged. And then this one is the one that Lena gave me, the same kind that Francie from Finding Joy gave me. This light is so, so much brighter, and it's it's just a better model. So I do I cannot recommend this one. And I'm going to show you the box again. Um, I took it off of my storefront on Amazon just because I don't think it's a good product. It doesn't charge my phone. Um, it barely charges on the the solar panel, and it does come with a USB thing, um, and so I can charge it on my, my solar, but I got it specifically because of the solar panel on top, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't work as well. Uh, so this is the model that I got. It is the, I don't know, Nana Home LED camping light, whatever. Don't get this don't get this it's it's just not a very good lantern and I just can't recommend it really at all but I got a package in the mail and I think it's one of the ones that the ladies the ladies collectively um, the lovely Miss Teresa Pritchard uh, the lovely Miss Je Jeanette P um, and the lovely Miss Donna B and Dor lovely Miss Doreen they got together so here, let me show you. It's a big box. Oh, and it's a heavy box. <laughs> I don't know what's in it, so you know what time it is. Time to open this baby. Okay, here, let me kind of set it down. All right. Okay, get this side. Whoops. Almost knocked the camera over, sorry. Okay, let me see what it is. Oh my gosh. What is this? Comes with a card. Thank you for supporting small business, Wiseman Trading and Supply. It comes with a note. Dear friend, thank you for your order. Make We work hard to make sure your order is processed. Blah, blah, blah. We want to be satisfied with edit every item you receive from us. Blah, blah, blah. Comes with a shipping thingy. I need to make sure who this is from. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. They got me the hand wringer. Here's another piece of paper. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Hand wringer. A steel hand wringer. Look at this. They got me a hand wringer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they got me the hand wringer. Let's see. Okay, it comes with plenty of brown paper I can use it in the warm bin or for kindling. Lots of brown paper. Oh, oh my gosh, this thing is steel. Oh, let's see if I can show it to you. I can't believe it. Oh, there's one thing that has prevented me from really doing a lot of laundry all the time. It's because of the ringing, ringing situation. In my hands, I don't have the same kind of strength that I used to. So they got me a hand wringer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you know what? Let me just tell you something. I have been looking for hand wringers for months now. And the only one that I could find, I, you know, I hadn't looked on Amazon in a while though. The only one I could find was from Walmart, and it was like 170 bucks or something, and there's like no freaking way. And it didn't even look as sturdy as this one. I don't know if it's the same kind. Hang on, Judy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is... Check it, guys. I got a hand wringer. Oh, my gosh. And you know what? I think this is going to install... Whoops. 
I think this is gonna install right over on my sink. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get this figured out today and get it, Judy, no, 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 no. Get this installed. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is huge. All right, Judy, she's getting, she's getting antsy. She wants to go out and run around. I already let her out one time. This is going to make such a huge, huge difference. You have no idea because, you know, one thing, especially in the winter, the, the more damp they are, of course, the longer it's going to take for them to dry out. But it's like they're, they'll be frozen solid. And so I can wring almost all of the water out. And I could probably even get a rack and dry it on the, on the inside of the tiny house um, using whatever form of heat I want to. So, oh my gosh. I can't believe this. I, I just can't believe it. I can't believe I have a hand wringer. I keep dumping over my empty cookie thing. <sighs> you guys, thank you so, so very much. I love this. I had no idea you were going to give me something like this. This is absolutely huge. So I'm going to try and see if I can get this installed over there and um, maybe do a load of laundry today. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. There it is, folks. I got it installed. Now, what I had to do is I had to turn this this way. Remember how I had it over here and the spot was over here? Well, this this is too big to fit over there, and I just didn't want to do it that way anyhow, and I couldn't put it over here. It just didn't work. I had to turn it this way. It doesn't really matter. It sticks out a little bit more, but that's just fine. Oh, and I have turned this thing around so it opens to, you know, the other side of the room, and I've got it installed check it out it works you know of course when I actually do a video of me washing clothes I'll let you see it in action but basically all I had to do was put this arm on and that's it and then you attach it by just screwing these onto whatever surface you're going to have it on and then you can adjust these little things here um, in accordance with how thick your clothing is, you loosen it up. If you've got a thick pair of jeans or something in there, look at it. Look at it, you guys. This is absolutely 100% perfect. I had considered, you know, um, eventually getting a, a smaller sink, you know, like they usually have. But you know what? I am going to leave this sink in here. And it is, it's going to be perfect. It's multi-purpose. I can do laundry. Now, this is so easy to take on and off. When I'm not doing laundry, I'm going to take it off and store it right underneath the sink. All I have to do is, you know, twist those a little bit. And look at you guys. I've got a hand wringer. I cannot, I can't believe it. Oh, my goodness. And yeah, I put that little backsplash there until I get real walls and whatnot. Oh, thank you, you guys. This is one heck of a piece of machinery right here. I'm not going to do any laundry today. In fact, today I need to go gather some more wood from the wood pile and make some more kindling and whatnot. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll save the actual ringer in action for another video. I can't tell you how thrilled I am. Ladies, thank you so very much for this beautiful, beautiful, very thoughtful gift. I needed this. I really needed this, but I considered it, I don't know, in my mind it was a luxury, but really it's not because I dread doing laundry because of the ringing aspect of it. So I know this sounds cliche, but this is a game changer. Alrighty, thank you for making my Christmas so, so very special, ladies, and that's and that's Donna, Teresa, um, Tere uh, Donna, Teresa, Jeanette P., and Doreen. I love you, ladies. Thank you so much. I, I just, I can't believe I have a ringer. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.